A couple months ago, I started a new series about five college football players who have become forgotten. And I've made a total of two of those videos since I started the series. And today is going to be a part three of that same series of five college football players who have become forgotten. Now, a quick disclaimer, I do want to add this. I'm not saying that everyone that's viewing this video has forgotten these players, but these are guys who balled out on the collegiate level, but you may have not heard from in a very long time. Now, as usual, before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's get into it. The first player that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is one of the best Oklahoma quarterbacks in school history, and that's none other than Landry Jones. Landry Jones has a four-year starter for the Sooners, completed nearly 64% of his passes, threw for 16,646 yards, 123 touchdown passes, and 52 interceptions. His best year on the collegiate level came in 2010, where he completed 66% of his passes, threw for 4,718 yards, 38 touchdown passes through the air, and only 12 interceptions. Some of the career accolades that he had in his time at Oklahoma was that he was the Sammy Baugh Trophy Award winner in 2010. Once he was done as a Sooner in his collegiate career, in the 2013 NFL Draft, Landry Jones was taken in the fourth round by the Pittsburgh Steelers. Landry Jones would be in the NFL from 2013 all the way up to 2019. He is primarily known for his time with the Pittsburgh Steelers as their backup quarterback, and in his NFL career, he went 3-2 as a starting quarterback, completed 64% of his passes, threw for 1,310 yards, 8 touchdowns through the air, and 7 interceptions. Once his time in the NFL was over in 2019, his next opportunity would be in the XFL with the Dallas Renegades, but that season would get cut short due to the pandemic. The next player that I am going to be talking about is a running back that attended Wisconsin and is one of the best running backs that we saw in the 2010s era. And it's none other than Wisconsin running back Monte Ball. Ball was a big time contributor for the Wisconsin Badgers while he was there. As in his career, he rushed for over 5,000 yards, averaging 5.6 yards a carry, and accounted for a total of 77 touchdowns as a starting running back there. His best season came in 2011 as a junior, he rushed for nearly 2,000 yards, rushing for 1,923 yards, and had 33 total touchdowns, and accounted for 39 of them for the Badgers team. While at Wisconsin, Monte Ball garnered a lot of accolades and awards. Some of the most notable ones was he was a Heisman finalist in 2011. He was a consensus All-American in 2011 and 2012, Big Ten Offensive Player of the Year in 2011, and the Doak Walker Award winner in 2012, which is given to the best running back in college football. He was seen as one of the best running backs in his position going into the 2013 NFL Draft, and he was taken in the second round by the Denver Broncos. When talking about his NFL career, it didn't go the way that anybody thought it was going to be, especially when you saw this guy in college and you just knew he was a straight-up animal. He had a solid rookie campaign with Denver as a backup in 2013, where he rushed for 559 yards and had four total touchdowns on the ground. But in 2014, he was limited to only five games due to injury, and he would still have kind of a rough season as he only rushed for 172 yards in five games played and had one touchdown and was just averaging over three yards a carry. He was going into the 2015 season battling for a roster spot with the Denver Broncos, and he would ultimately be waived, and his next opportunity in the NFL would come with the New England Patriots as a member of their practice squad. But in the 2016 offseason, following a domestic violence arrest, he was released by the Patriots, and that would be the end of his career. Switching back to the quarterback position just for a moment, this next player I'm going to be focusing on is one of the top Baylor football players in school history, and it's none other than quarterback Bryce Petty. Bryce Petty, he had to wait his turn to become the starting quarterback, as he wasn't a starting quarterback for the Bears until his redshirt junior season. Once he became a starter as a redshirt junior in 2013, he took off and became one of the top college football quarterbacks. His best season in his career came as a first-year starting quarterback for Baylor in 2013 as he led Baylor as one of the best college football teams in the nation, completing 62% of his passes, throwing for 4,200 yards, 32 touchdown passes through the air, as opposed to only three interceptions. 
Some thought he was going to go to the draft for 2014, but he would decide to run things back for one last season at Baylor in 2014. He would have yet again another good season, however it wasn't as productive as his 2013 campaign. In this campaign of his, as a redshirt senior, he threw for 3,855 yards, 29 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. In the 2016 NFL Draft, where he was taken by the New York Jets, Petty would spend a total of 3 seasons with the New York Jets as a backup quarterback. He played in a total of 10 games, and he could just never find the hang of it on the NFL level. As in his career, he completed 53% of his passes, threw for 1,353 yards, 4 touchdowns, and a total of 10 interceptions. He was waived by the Jets after the 2017 season, and he would be with the Miami Dolphins shortly, but he was ultimately released September 15th, 2018, and he hasn't been in the NFL since. Going on to this next player, he was not only just a top running back, but he was one of the top non-Power 5 players in the nation. And it's none other than running back Jay Ajayi from Boise State. He was a two-year starting running back for Boise State in 2013 and 2014. And in his career there, he rushed for 3,796 yards, averaging over five yards a carry, and had 50 total touchdowns on the ground. His biggest season came in his last year at Boise State, where in 14 games played, he rushed for 1,823 yards, averaged five yards per carry, and accounted for a total of 32 touchdowns in that season alone. In the 2015 NFL Draft, Ajayi was taken in the 5th round by the Miami Dolphins. When talking about all the players in today's video and their NFL careers, Jay Ajayi definitely had the most NFL success. As he was not only a Pro Bowl member, he also even won a Super Bowl with the Eagles. In his career, he played with two different teams, the Miami Dolphins and the Philadelphia Eagles. His best year came in his second year in the league with the Miami Dolphins, as he rushed for over 1,000 yards, rushing for 1,272 yards, and had eight total touchdowns. He would have a solid career, where he rushed for 2,546 yards, and had a total of 13 rushing touchdowns. However, he would be out of the league completely by 2019. When talking about this next player, we're going to stick with the non-Power 5 level, but this time talk about quarterback from Western Kentucky, Brandon Dowdy. Brandon Dowdy was a truly special player at Western Kentucky. In his last two seasons there, he led the NCAA in passing yards, passing touchdowns, and passer efficiency. Brandon Dowdy is probably one of the more recent quarterbacks that wasn't talked about enough. He had a really good last two seasons at Western Kentucky, and in his career there, he threw for over 12,000 yards, had 111 touchdown passes, and only 34 interceptions. And in his last season at Western Kentucky in 2015, he had an unreal season where he completed 72% of his passes, threw for over 5,000 yards, threw for 48 touchdown passes, and only 9 interceptions. Despite what he did at Western Kentucky, Brandon wasn't necessarily seen as one of the top players heading into the 2016 NFL Draft. In fact, he was taken in the 6th round by the Miami Dolphins. When talking about his NFL career, his NFL career wasn't the longest, as he was only in the NFL from 2016 to the 2018 offseason. He played with the Miami Dolphins and was on their practice squad for 2016 and 2017, and he got a little bit of a shot with the Arizona Cardinals in 2018, but ultimately did not make it to fall camp. Well guys, if you made it this far in the video, I'll drop a link in the description for part 1 and part 2, and you can go watch those videos if you want as well. I would highly appreciate it. Before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly, out.